If Sora disappears, that would mess up the organization's plans. I trust that you know what you need to do. Haven't a clue, really. Maybe you could spell it out for me. Vexen has clearly committed a treasonous act against the organization. You must eliminate the traitor. No taking that back later. Hello everyone and welcome back to Missledyne Online. We are playing Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Riku's story. In the last episode, we took down the Trick Master over in Wonderland and we found out that Naminé is apparently being used by Axel Larkseen and apparently Vexen to do some stuff to replica Riku. All right, so in this episode, we are going to tackle none other than Atlantica. That is the first world that we are going to tackle. Well, I guess technically the second world that we're going to tackle in this world set that we got from Ansem. Here we go. Oh, this is super exciting. It's actually really, so, Atlantica in these games is so much better than it is in the original game because you don't have to deal with that swimming mechanic. You know what I mean? You can just you can just be free. Now this is actually a wonderful wonderful place to level up if you are using your meeting ground cards as often as you possibly can. So I'm actually going to uh, first show you our deck for this world, of course. If we look, we will see that our first combo right off the bat actually starts with a zero card, which is not that great, but it can be useful. We also just have more cards here. Now, we the card that we have uh, available to us in this world is the C Neon. Randomizes the values of the cards you use. I don't really recommend that. Also, our Dark Ball activates duels no matter the value. That is very, very good indeed. It's only valid for one reload, but it can actually be super useful. Super useful in this world, considering that all of the enemies you face are super huge. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Dark Ball. I'm going to pick this up as well, and I'm just going to lay into them. And then if they try to use something, it will activate a duel no matter what. And we will be able to just... Well... Ready? Ready? Duel! And then we'll be able to... Oh, not break him or something because his cards are huge. Holy crap! Well, that didn't work as well as I would have liked. Alright, well, maybe we won't use that then. Jeez! That didn't work at all. And as always, I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this room and see what we can do. All right, we've cleared this room. Now, the reason why you wanna use meeting grounds so much is actually because of the size of the enemies that you actually end up fighting here. They're all relatively large. So that means that your holy burst, your inverse burst, stuff like that is going to be able to hit enemies a lot and pretty frequently as well. So you're gonna be able to plow through. And it's also worth mentioning that the enemies that you fight here in Atlantica give you a, a lot of experience comparatively to the rest of the, uh, the rest of the Heartless that you can find. Did I say Pokemon? I don't know if I said Pokemon or not. But anyways, the Heartless here give you a lot more experience than in other worlds. All right, and we leveled up in that fight, which means we get to, now that we are level 29, I actually went and got a level off screen, uh, which I believe I just put into my uh, darkness. But in this case, we hit level 29, we're going to put it into our attack, just so that's even a little bit higher. We now have a 20 attack. That's pretty darn good. All right, I'm going to finish clearing this meeting grounds room, and then we will we will continue on. <laughs> Now, I'm also trying something different in the recording of this video, so I hope that the audio sounds pretty good. I'm trying something different where I'm uh, basically having it closer to my mouth. Also, worth mentioning that you should get to about level 31 in this world. That's probably, I would say, the best bet for you to do. Get to around level 31, and then you'll be in a pretty good spot for the remainder of the worlds. We'll see anyways. All right, let's finish this fight. All right, we cleared this entire room. I was kind of hoping that we would get another level up in this room, but we didn't, and that's okay. So we can go with whatever we want, but since we have so many of these, I'm gonna go ahead and use another meeting ground. This really is just a wonderful, wonderful place to get some really, really decent levels. So I recommend doing it, like I said before. Uh, let's go ahead and clear this entire room, and then we can go ahead and use this, this last door here. 
All right, well, we did end up getting my level up that I really, really wanted. So we're going to put ourselves at max DP is going to increase by two at level 30. That's pretty crazy, man. We're already level 30. I feel like we just started this game. All right, wow, we cleared that room pretty quick. All right, so let's continue and use this one. Uh, we need a three or higher. Again, I, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and use a four meeting ground because we can. We're just using a ton of meeting grounds. This is this is level central, man. Level central. All right, so we'll find ourselves right here in this middle room if we actually look, which is exactly where we need to go. We actually want to go all the way to the uh, to the to the to the right to the to the right. Yeah, to the right. So let's before we do that, though, I'm gonna clear the entire room. All right, and yet again, we leveled up to level 31, which is exactly the level I actually wanted to be at when we completed this level. So I'm actually going to put that into our darkness yet again, uh, just because I do think that having a darkness of 20 is going to be super, super useful. We're cruising towards the end of this world, so let's go ahead and use a level 5 card here. I wouldn't mind using a Moment's Reprieve, but unfortunately we don't actually have a Moment's Reprieve here. Uh, so again, using a Meeting Ground, is there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with anything, man. Now we'll go ahead and use another Meeting Ground here, which is going to open the way to a room that we can go to, uh, which of course leads right to this room over here. Now, let's go ahead and actually take a look at the requirements for this room. A red, a green, and and a, uh, a, 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 a key to beginnings. So that's, that's pretty nice and easy, right? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually use my level eight here, and we'll go ahead and open it with the key to beginnings. Here we go. It's it's Ursula time. That's right. The boss of Atlantica is none other than Ursula. Now, she can actually be pretty challenging if you're not completely pay paying attention. This is actually, I'll be honest with you, this is actually the second time I'm fighting her because the first time did not go well at all. Now, we want to wait and see if we can actually dodge most of her attacks, which we can, and then we can go ahead and just break her. Now, you actually need to hit her tentacles. As you can see, they actually do a tremendous amount of damage against me. I'm going to go ahead and break her, her card there, and then we're just going to... Oh, this is not... Oh, my God. Those eight cards are so annoying. All right, so unfortunately, we have to wait... Hit her zero, and then we will get into our darkness mode. Now, unfortunately here, you actually don't necessarily want... Oh my god. There we go. Alright, now she's going to come in closer to us. And then we will actually be able to unleash some combos to her face, which is what we need to do. Don't bother using any slates at all here, because they aren't really going to help you. So we'll continue into her yet again. Alright, now I'm going to end up using my Genie Jafar card here, and that's just so that I can keep attacking her, and that she can't break me, because we are, of course, in dark mode, and I really, really uh, don't want her to be able to attack me whatsoever during this because I want to stay in dark mode for as long as I as long as I humanly uh, possibly can so we'll go ahead break her with that zero card and then we will just oh that's so obnoxious man all right there we go so we were able to take down all of her tentacles yet again and then she's going to get close we'll break her with that and then come on come on closer girl come on closer there we go and then we will just lay into her face come on baby and Break her zero card. Let's see if we can. Come on. Oh man, this is diff this is this is really really obnoxious. There we go. Broke her yet again. Oh, I'm not an insolent little fool. You are. So we are no longer we are no longer in dark mode. So we're gonna go ahead and actually use our uh, in holy burst here. The only reason I'm doing that is because it will actually do a lot of damage to her tentacles. Then we're going to use it yet again. We want to try to see if we can hit dark mode. And then, unfortunately, she's going to end up using that. And then we will use this uh, Holy Burst yet again. Now, it, there are there is some chances of you actually getting a gimmick card. And the gimmick card in this level, uh, which we didn't actually just pick up, which I was hoping that we maybe did. All right, this should be the final combo to take her down. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, my God. We'll use a zero, and we'll get into darkness, and then we will just unload. Oh, my God. Come on, come on. 
There we go. Oh my god. This is so annoying. So annoying. We're gonna go ahead, use our inverse. Oh. We'll use we'll use holy burst. See if we can do this. Get rid of her tentacles as much as as much as humanly possible. Switch to that holy burst. We were able to break her slate before she used it. I'm hoping that we can do this. That's all of her tentacles. We used her gimmick card too. All right, come on. And down goes Ursula. That was the most annoying fight we've done so far. Which is weird because all of the sources say that she is one of the easiest boss fights. And, uh, and she is not. It was just really annoying. And we, of course, leveled up. I think that means we are level, what, 31 now? And we get the Ursula card. Level 32! So again, we're going to put that into our attack. Perfect. We are a level higher than I wanted to leave uh, Atlantica. So that just means that we can just charge right towards the Conqueror's Respite. Which, I mean, we'd probably want to do anyways because we want to save and make sure we never have to do this fight ever again. Now, I do want to go ahead and show you the card that we just got from her, which is Ursula. Halves the damage from enemies magic attacks. That can be useful in certain boss fights, and of course, we'll be talking about that when we get to them. Uh, now that we are here in meeting ground, uh, we could of course fight these enemies if we so choose. Alright, we got another level 33, baby! Alright, we're gonna put that into our health just so that we break 300. We now have over 300 health. That's pretty damn strong, guys. Da pretty damn strong. Once the room is finally clear, we can la use this door. Uh, I don't think this is the last door that we can use, but if we wanted to, we could use another, another meeting ground. Level 7, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get crazy here. And that will actually lead directly to Conqueror's Respite, if you so choose to go right there to Conqueror's Respite. But I'm gonna clear this room, because I'm... I'm a masochist. Alright, I'm comfortable with that being the last battle that we do here in Atlantica, because we hit level 34! So we are three levels higher than I actually wanted to leave Atlantica. We're gonna put more into our health, uh, just because the enemies seem to be, or the bosses anyways, seem to be taking a large chunk out of our health every single time we fight them. And that's not fun. So, we find ourselves here, finally, in Conqueror's Respite. And we can just go ahead, jump up on here, and there is, of course, a save point ahead of us. But we're going to skip it, and we're going to continue right in to the sixth floor exit hall? Yeah, yeah, it's the sixth floor. All right, let's go all the way up to the fifth floor exit hall. We are more than halfway through, I believe. Why so glum, Nomine? Is there something that's been troubling you? Are you feeling awful about tinkering with Sora's memory? Or maybe you... Cut it out, Larxene. Namine? She doesn't want to remember Sora. Is that so? Don't worry. Whatever's hurting you, I'll make it go away. I swear it on this. The good luck charm you gave me. See ya. That's just amazing! It's almost like you completely made his heart from scratch. Nice touch with the good luck charm. I didn't know you could use memories to transform objects like cards into keepsakes. You used the same trick on Sora, right? You changed Kairi's good luck charm with your magic, didn't you? <laughs> it won't be long before Sora forgets about Kairi completely. And then he'll be all yours to- He won't forget. Huh? No matter how much I change his memory, Sora will never forget Kairi. Memories of me. More false memories of me will just make his feelings for Kairi even stronger than before. Because I'm the shadow of Kairi. 
What's your problem with that? That should be your incentive not to screw anything up. Just do a good job rewriting Sora's heart. Then you can actually be somebody and no longer just Kairi's shadow. You'll be real in Sora's heart. But what does it mean? Seriously, Namine, Kairi's shadow, is she just alluding to something? Like, is it just a metaphor? Like, what, what does that mean? Apparently, we now know how Riku, replica Riku, got that charm. Apparently, Namine was working her, her voodoo magic over him as well. Well, that's very interesting. In the next episode, we will tackle Olympus Colosseum, the world of Hercules and Hades and, and goat, uh, Phil, a uh, goat, goat Phil, Phil goat. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a like. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see more Kingdom Hearts content. And right now appearing on screen is the playlist for the original Chain of Memories. And above that should be a video that YouTube has recommended just for you. And as well, there is another Patreon thing showing up. If you want to click on that, you can monetarily support the channel. Keep me going. Make me, make me do this full time because that would be wonderful. Go ahead, click that button. Get rewarded just for watching. And remember... Never give up, never surrender to the darkness.